There's a great new competition. I know you watch it. I watch it. It's called America's Favorite Trail Horse. And we've really been seeing a great grouping, not only thoroughbreds, we saw a mule that won, and now a great story about a Mustang joining us on the phone last week's winner, Mary Miller Jordan. Mary, congratulations and welcome to Race Day. Oh, thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be talking with y'all. We're just ecstatic and a bit in shock. Well, I, I love I love the picture right now, and Millie and I were talking, and I, Millie's more of the, the horse physicality person, so I'm going to let her take it. A Mustang, I thought that was a great story. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, uh, the fact that this was a wild Mustang who had been untouched and, and an older mare, I, I understand she'd already had several foals, how on earth did you so quickly break her in and gain her trust? Well, I, I have to say there, there was no breaking to it. She came with such a wealth of knowledge. I mean, she had never had any human contact, but that doesn't mean that she wasn't very knowledgeable. She had lived in the wild, and, you know, horses learn so much from one another. I think the, uh, the smartest thing we can do is do our best to tune into that. And, I mean, I felt much more like a student of her than the other way around. I mean, it, she is a brilliant mare. As far as this horse is concerned, Mary, and this is, I believe it's Lindsay's Faith. I want to make sure I get the name proper. Yes, sir. Um, what is the difference for someone who's out there watching? Maybe they've just turned on HRTV, they're watching this, and they say, really, what is the difference between a Mustang and a thoroughbred? Well, honestly, there's some Mustangs that are quite similar to thoroughbreds. You know, our Mustangs are a grouping of, uh, you know, all the horses that really there are out there. Um, there's uh, Mustangs with a lot of Spanish influence, a lot of thoroughbred influence, draft influence. I mean, I kind of consider them just like us as Americans. They're, they're a little bit of a whole lot, and um, they're all pot. very special and unique. Well, this, it's an amazing story that uh, you have, you two have accomplished so much together in such a short amount of time. What is next for you and Lindsay's faith now? Oh, my goodness. So much, so much. The Axa rides are fabulous. I mean, it is right up her alley. She loves going out on the trail. She loves the obstacles. She, it, is, it is such a joy to ride her because even if she is a little bit hesitant of something, she just puts so much trust and faith in me and you know it just makes you feel invincible when you're out there riding her like there's just nothing that can hold you back so i'm foreseeing lots of axa rides in our future mary we're, we're, i'm just laughing because we're looking at this picture of her and she just looks so beautiful thank you so much for being with us continued success and that's america's favorite trail horse eight o'clock on tuesdays eight o'clock eastern five o'clock pacific right here on hr tv mary thank you so much for being with us oh thank you all right, that's Mary Miller Jordan, last week's winner. Yeah. How cool is that? It, it's, it's incredibly cool considering that she had to put a saddle and bridle on for a the first time. And with, within, what, 100 days, she's already winning competitions. A wild six-year-old. We'll yeah. talk more about that in a bit. Right now, we've got to get over to Aqueduct for the second race. And as we mentioned, it's New York Stallion Series Day. And we're very, very happy to be able to show this to all of our friends there in the great state of New York. My actually son's first horse he ever sat on was a, a, originally a wild Mustang. Really? It was up at Monty Roberts Farm. And, huh. uh, yeah, he sat on, uh, on their Mustang that they've had around the farm for years now. But yeah, he was a wild Mustang. It's so funny when you're out there, even when the races, we're looking at the field here. King of Disco just went by, the three dancing on the sand. Another Finger Lakes invader coming in for Ralph D'Alessandro. Um, and you're not privy to all the difference. You just think, okay, there's a horse. And then you think, all right, well, there's thoroughbreds, standard breads, quarter horses. You don't realize, I mean, there's pintos, there's oh, mustangs. Just like dogs, there's so many there's different so many. breeds. And I love the way Mary said, basically, it's just like Americans, a little something to everything goes <laughs> into the mustang. They're going through this post parade. There's the